Today we're going to be testing out five different finishes. We've got mineral oil, lacquer, mahonies, general finishes, high performance, dead flat, and tongue oil. Let's get into it. So I should also say that we're going to be testing each of these finishes with water and, uh, and just kind of determine how they will hold up. So the first one is Mahoney's. Mahoney's is a very popular finish for people that would turn. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I'm going to apply it with a brush. I know that's not conventional, but it's what I've got. So I'm going to apply it to one side of the wood. And uh, this one seems to darken up the wood quite nicely. You can see here, yeah, it's got a really cool... Uh, kind of coloration to it. It pulls the grain out for sure. It's definitely going to darken the wood though. And if that's not your thing, this is not the finish for you. And so that's looking pretty good. And the next one is a high performance dead flat from General Finishes. Uh, this is a super ultra flat and I've used this quite a bit in the last couple of months and uh, I'm really curious to see how it holds up to water. Uh, and so I'm applying it to the same piece of wood. I'm just giving it a little bit of space uh, next to that Mahoney's oil. And we're going to, we're going to go on down the line with each of the finishes as, uh, you know, as we open the can. So, uh, this one's got a milky white color to it. It reminds me of a poly in the way that it smells and behaves. Although there's no real indication of the fact that it is a polyurethane. Of course it's water-based, uh, and they do oop, got a drop there. That's okay. Um, it, you know, they do kind of have a separate poly that, uh, is dead flat. I'll be testing that out in another video in the near future. Uh, that one's supposed to be kind of more durable, more highly rated for, um, I think like, uh, water and other types of exposure. So, uh, this one is, uh, just kind of known to be super ultra flat. So uh, I'm going to work that into the fibers and uh, move on to the next one. So this next finish is, uh, one of my favorite finishes. It's uh, lacquer. It's a brush on lacquer. Uh, this can also be uh, sprayed. Of course, lacquer is commonly sprayed, uh, but this is what I'm using today to apply. It's just this little nylon brush. And uh, lacquer has a real warmth to it. You can see already it's kind of pulling out the colors of the grain even more than the Mahoney's oil. And uh, of course, as it dries, it tends to lighten up a bit, but it's a very beautiful finish. I've talked to furniture restoration people who uh, primarily work for uh, museum quality furniture restoration and uh, their work on museum quality furniture restoration. And they say that uh, this is the best finish they've used. So, um, you know, I, I, I bear that in mind. Uh, it's not as durable as some of the polys that are out now, but it's really a nice looking finish. I like the look of depth for sure. The downside is it's very, very toxic. Um, you know, it's not recommended that you use it indoors without ventilation. In fact, it's like really bad for you. So, um, this is coming from a guy who's used it for uh, 10 years in an indoor enclosed area with no ventilation. So <laughs> I'm not the person to talk to. Most of my brain, brain cells are, are already dead, as you can probably tell by listening to me talk. But, uh, yeah, so that's a great finish, uh, other than killing you softly. <laughs> and our next contestant is, uh, <laughs> tongue oil. Tongue oil is, uh, one that, to be honest, uh, I don't use a whole lot. I don't think to use it. Um, oils in general just kind of, I, I don't use them very often, but um, I typically use a hardening finish. But I've heard so many good things about tongue oil. I know it's a, a really uh, hard-wearing finish. It absorbs into the fibers of the wood, and it kind of mingles with the structure and hardens and makes the wood stronger on top of being a pretty minimal finish. I don't think tongue oil has a real bright shine gloss to it, so... Uh, this is going on pretty well. Uh, it seems to darken up the wood a bit, maybe about the same as the deft. The deft is a little lighter now, but that's because it's drying and, uh, we'll see how the tongue oil, uh, fares. Uh, the thing is tongue oil takes uh, 12 hours to dry. So we're really going to have to wait a while to, to see the results of the color there. So we'll have to wait until tomorrow. Okay. And then finally is, uh, I had to put this one in there. It's mineral oil. Mineral oil is, uh, just a, a, a really kind of a basic finish. It doesn't harden. It's cheap. You can get it anywhere. You can use baby oil. Uh, so that's basically what mineral oil is. And uh, it's food safe. It's uh, pretty harmless. And so you're going to use it on utensils, uh, you know, stuff like that. All right. So it's been about 12 hours since our board was first uh, clear coated with these various finishes. And so now I'm going to test them out, see how they respond to water. So I've got a syringe, I've got a cup of water. And I'm going to apply water to each section and see if and when it starts to absorb that moisture. Let's do it. 
All right, so our first finish is the Mahoney's oil, which is a combination of carnauba, uh, beeswax, and walnut oil. And I'm gonna give it a drop or two of water and see how it reacts. Okay, there's one. Ah. There's a couple. Uh, this is the high performance, it's basically a polyurethane, it's the ultra dead flat mat. Okay, next we've got Deft. It seems to be pooling up pretty well. After that, we've got our tongue oil. And then finally, we've got uh, the mineral oil. Okay, so now we wait. Okay, we're going to start from left to right here. So from the left side starting, this is kind of the darkest, brownest color, is the Mahoney's finish. And I don't, I don't know, I like the Mahoney's finish. It's, uh, it's kind of hard to see from this angle, but it's got like a little bit of a sheen to it, which is nice. And look at that water pool up. I mean, the water is not penetrating at all there. So that's a really good sign. Uh, definitely recommending that. And also, uh, I don't mind the color. I like that it's a little bit darker probably wouldn't use it on a really dark wood, an already dark wood, if it was a, you know, a highly detailed carving, because I'd want to see all the detail, and the darker a carving is, the harder it is to see some of the details. But uh, the next one, which is almost, like, not even there, it doesn't, you can't even tell it's there, is a, 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 a sorry, high-performance finish from General Finishes. It's that dead flat matte stuff and uh disappointed with this look at the uh, the bleaching or the leaching uh the, the bubbles uh, have a little bit of uh of a little tail to them and it's because it's absorbing into the wood and that's a huge surprise to me because uh from my understanding that was like a hardening kind of almost like a poly but uh they have another product that i'm going to test out soon that's supposed to be dead flat and also a little more durable so we'll try that in the future but uh this one not so durable Okay, the next one. Uh, which one is this? This is the Mahoney's. No, we already talked about Mahoney's. This is the uh, tongue oil. No, lacquer. <laughs> it's lacquer. Uh, the lacquer is really doing well. I mean, I kind of expected it to. It's a time-held standard. Lacquer is uh, a really good, uh, you know, food finish. This is a poly, uh, or a poly, sorry. It's a deft. Uh, and so it's pooling nicely. It's pre preventing the wood from uh, absorbing the water. That's a good, that's a good uh, sign. And then next, of course, is the tongue oil. Surprise here, the tongue oil is doing as good of a job as the deft. And it, I don't think it has the downsides in, term, in terms of being so bad to breathe in. So I don't know. I think the tongue oil is a major win here. Uh, it looks similar in color. I would say that the deft has a little bit more of a warmth to it, maybe a little bit more pleasant of a coloration, probably the most pleasant of all of them in terms of the ones that are kind of darkening the wood. Um, but then finally on the right hand side, the mineral oil, meh, I don't love the, the way it looks, although it is preventing the water from, uh, penetrating even better than the high performance finish, excuse me. So definitely a win for that. Uh, and so if I was to rank these in terms of color, um, I would say it depends on what you're going for. Of course, for me personally, lately, although Deft is uh, one of my favorite finishes, uh, I'm really liking the look of the second to left finish, and that is the uh, high performance dead flat. Although uh, on a performance level, it's not seeming to do a very good job, which is kind of half the point of a finish. So I don't know what to do with that. But uh, in that case, I'd probably put the uh, tongue oil at number one because it seems to protect against moisture. It doesn't darken the wood quite as much as the other categories, and uh, it's not harmful to breathe in, which is a huge plus. Uh, second to that, I'd probably tie between the Mahoney's and the, uh, let's go with the uh, lacquer, because the lacquer is at least going to harden and protect and strengthen the wood. Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say I'm going to go with the lacquer there. Uh, as far as the um, durability goes, uh, in terms of like repelling water, uh, gosh, I mean, these oil-based products, as you'd imagine, are doing a great job. The Mahoney's is doing a good job. Uh, the uh, lacquer is doing a great job. The tongue oil is doing a great job. I'm even surprised that the mineral oil is holding up as well as it is. I would have I thought that it might have kind of soaked in a little bit too much or maybe didn't quite provide as much resistance to water. But, yeah, 
that's doing good. So any of those uh, four, um, aside from that high performance uh, dead flat, are a good choice in terms of uh, protecting the wood from moisture. Again, in terms of durability, um, I'm going to say uh, you're probably you're best off with a, a hardening finish such as the tongue oil. Uh, even the high performance is going to give you a little bit of extra strength, uh, protect that wood and strengthen it. Uh, but uh, so that's it. That's my feedback. If I was to conclude uh, finishes to recommend, I would say the tongue oil was the big surprise here. There's, it doesn't change the wood color so much uh, as the others do, of course, aside from the high performance. Uh, and it hardens and strengthens the wood grain, which is a huge plus for me. I mean, that's a major reason that I use finishes. I'm carving in softer woods. I want to strengthen the fragile little elements of the carvings. And so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going with the tongue oil. All right. Thanks guys for watching. Hope you learned something. Uh, I know I did. Bye. Oh, and if you're into wood carving and you want to learn how to carve uh, realistic faces, check out the online school in the link below. Uh, it's going to take you to uh, 80 plus project videos, which is uh, significantly uh, more content than uh, any in-person lesson that I can teach you or uh, any kind of one day workshop. This is uh, literally 80 projects and more adding one to two videos every month there. Uh, everything from beginner videos to uh, intermediate and advanced projects to help people learn to carve uh, faces. So <laughs> there's that. Bye.